Hi everyone, on this video we are going to learn about the going to to talk about the future. Let's go! So, how do we use the going to in a sentence? Okay, we first need the subject. The subject, you know, it's I, uh, he or she or it. You, we, okay? Then we need the verb to be in the right form. I am, he is, and they are. Then we are going to use the verb going to, which is what we are trying to do here, going to. And then we have the verb, the main verb in infinitive form. And at last we use, we will put the complement. For example, I am going to watch a film or uh, he is going to open the door. Now let's see some other examples. I am going to play the flute. She is going to buy a new book and we are going to have lunch. Remember to put the verb to be in the right form. I am, she is, we are. And then the going to plus the other verb plus the complement. The complement uh, could be an object, a place, whatever. So how do we use the going to to make a question? Well, first we will put the verb to be and then the subject. We have we change the order of, of these two. Then the same, we will put the going to plus the verb plus the complement. And we have to make sure that we use the right form of the verb to be. Am I? Are you? Is he? So, am I going to? Are you? going to is he going to and then uh, while well, we complete the, the sentence for example are you going to visit the school okay let's see another example are you going to the cinema tomorrow remember that the complement could be anything like a place a time a person in the negative form is very similar than the positive one we just need to remember to put the verb to be in the negative form like i am not you aren't and she or he isn't and then going to plus the verb plus the complement. Let's see an example. We aren't going to the cinema tomorrow. So when do we use the going to? First, we, we use it for a plan or intention in a near future. For example, I am going to read a book this afternoon. Also, we use it for something that you are certain about. Certain. Something you are certain about, for example, if you haven't studied, if you didn't study anything, you are going to fail in the exam. And the last one, although we don't use this very often, is for commands. Commands, you are going to listen to your mother. That's an order, for example. Now let's see some examples of these three forms of using the verb to be. Here, on, an, on a plan or intention on a near future, I'm going to read a book next week, near future. Mr. Ortiz is going to run a marathon this year. And we are going to visit the high school. Now for something that you are certain about, you need some context, like here, you didn't study, that's the context. So you didn't study, you are going to fail the exam. 
Here, if you see the picture, it's very cloudy. It is very cloudy. It is going to rain. And the last one for commands, for example, you are going to be quiet. It's a rule. Or you are going to visit the museum. You don't have a choice. Okay, that's the end of the video. I hope you like it and you learn a lot about the use of going to. Bye all.